Hi guys, welcome back to Spoon Feeding Profits. Um, today I wanted to do a quick video and share the last 10 items I sold. Um, these items are between the last three days, I think, I sold. Uh, the, more, the most earliest one was on the 11th. I sold that. So these are the most recent items I sold, the 10 most recent items I sold. Um, so yeah, just give me one second. Let me check out the chats. Make sure everything's going smoothly. Um, one second, guys. One second. Hmm. Hmm. Give me one second, guys. I'm just messing with the chat really quick. Guess not. Okay. So I think everything's working good. But yeah, um, I'm gonna share ten items that I sold recently on eBay. All right, so let's get into that. Um, so the first item I wanna share that I sold, or the most earliest of the 10, I should say, is this uh, Claiborne men's V-neck sweater. This is not a brand I pick up that often, but this particular sweater was really cheap. It was like two bucks knew it tags and it was a large size so that's why i got it argyle the diamond kind of print or also known as argyle that sells pretty well so all that was a factor for two bucks i could not just leave it so i picked it up i priced it very modestly because this is not a brand that sells the best for me so 23.99 plus 4.99 shipping sold right just about two bucks paid I listed it in September 20, 2018. I was actually expecting it to sell in the winter time, but it just sold like three days ago, it sold. So yeah, remember this is Argyle. This is a keyword you wanna use, A-R-G-Y-L-E, or otherwise known as a diamond print, but I find Argyle is a better keyword. But yeah, Claiborne, like I said, size, you really can't go wrong with that. Um, two bucks spent. There we go. All right. So next item I want to share with you that I sold is this um, anterior loft women's suit. Now this was a kind of mint condition, gently worn suit, but I didn't have the best photos. I know that. Um, I priced it forty nine. I took a best offer for forty five. This was listed on November 13, 2018. So a few months it took to sell. I sold this, I want to say the 11th or maybe yesterday, the 12th. Um, but yeah, and Taylor Loft women's pinstripe suit. Like I said, almost mint condition. But I didn't do a best a good job with photographs. But it sold 45 bucks. I paid, I want to say between six to eight dollars for this suit i didn't pay a whole lot so some good i made some good profit there um and taylor loft sells well especially if you can have great photos you can't go wrong um yeah so third item i want to share that i sold is this again chaps don't sell too well but i found this pretty cheap i paid 3.99 for this again if you look at the size you'll see a huge size 2xv it's a big and tall uh, men's shirt, $55 retail. I figure somebody's going to pay me $26.99, right? Plus shipping. So I priced it modestly again because chaps, chaps is iffy for me. Some move, some don't. Pattern, color, uh, material, all that matters. This is just a basic shirt, but it's a large size. So I went with it. 
um, sold it. I listed it on February this this year. So I think it was a fairly quick flip for this brand, I think. Um, yeah, no more than $3.99 spent here either. So that was a pretty good flip for me. $6.99 shipping, $26.99 sold, right? Um, so these basic brands, if you can find them at a good price and you can price them modestly, you're going to get some sales. I'm, you know, everything sells on eBay. It's just a matter of pricing. And if you get it cheap enough, you can price it to sell. Next item I want to share with you is this. Okay, so I've had this for a while. I actually bought this brand new suit on OfferUp for 60 bucks a while back. But what I never took the time to notice was it wasn't actually a suit. It was identical, the pants and the jacket, but it was two different size. The jacket is 44 and the pants is 42. And for a 44 jacket, a 38 waist is more like that, that matches more like a suit, but this is actually 42. It was, you know, I had a lot of washers for this for a long time, but no, no buyers. So one time a customer actually helped me out. He said, so let me get this straight. He sent a message. This suit is different sizes. And that's the first time I looked into it. I'm like, you know what? It is different sizes, but I was lazy for a long time and I just left it up there. And finally, recently somebody bought it and I'm like, oh yeah. So I sent them a message saying, Hey, I was just wondering, did you notice the jacket and the pants are two different sizes? And he said, no, I didn't notice that. He said, what size is the pants? So I told him and he said, no, that's too big. Yeah. You're going to have to cancel the order. So finally, a couple days ago, literally less than a week ago, I finally said, okay, I'm going to sell the jacket by itself. I'm yet to list the pants by itself, but I uploaded a jacket. If you notice in this first pic, you can see the jacket and the pants underneath, but I made sure to mention this listing is just for the jacket and it sold within a couple of days. Again, this is see your sucker. See your sucker sells around this season. It was a brand new Lauren Ralph Lauren, uh, men's see your sucker, uh, jacket blazer thing and 69 somebody paid 69 plus 1065 so finally i let it go and i'm about to list the pants within the next couple of days because like i said this is the best time to list your sucker stuff so yeah guys um sometimes your listing just needs a little tweak and i was just lazy to it but finally i did it and within a couple of days somebody bought it all right like i said i paid 60 for the suit um, when I sell the pants, I should make, make some profit on this. All right. So 69 plus 1075 shipping. Next item I want to share with you is this, um, now I got this real cheap. I think I paid like three bucks, maybe four tops. So brand new Levi's, um, it's a more modern kind of women's pants, but for that price, you know, I, I want to say I took a best offer for 25. I should remember this because it was literally yesterday. I believe I took a best offer for 25 on this. But yeah, 25 plus 635 shipping. Um, I listed this February 6, 2008. Wow. That's when I listed this? Oh, wow. I thought I, I don't know why I thought this was the most recent find, but anyways, February 6th, uh, more than a year ago. So. I'm glad I got rid of that. So there we go. Um, next item is this uh, Nautica. It actually looks better than it looks in the photo. No, this I've had a long time because I know the carpet that it was on, I did a lot of carpet listing a few years ago, maybe 2017. Let's see. Yep, April 1st, 2017. I've had this particular item. It's just a Nautica, but it's a really nice color. That's what got my attention. It's like a the photo's not doing it justice. It's actually a bit brighter, the color. It's more like an aqua kind of color. Um, but it has this nice patch. I have a thing for patches um, on the back. So this is Nautica Sailing Island on the back. So yeah, like I said, the color is much nicer than it looks in the photo. 
But yeah, I took a best offer for 20 free shipping. I paid less than $3.99 for this. So yeah, stuff like this is $3.99 is my ceiling. Um, except if it was brand new with tag. So just your ba basic Nautica uh, shorts. And summertime is the best time to sell this stuff. Next item I'm going to share with you that I sold recently is this brand new polo um, polo jeans company cargo shorts with a patch that I love. But this particular one was brand new attack. This was a score. I paid three ninety nine for this. This wasn't that long ago, if I remember correctly. Yep, January eight two thousand nineteen. So it still took a few months to sell, but it's summer, so it's about to be summer. So I knew this was gonna go. I full price forty nine ninety nine full price for what I was asking plus six ninety nine shipping right so yes so we have guys if you've watched my videos before you know I said um, this uh, polo with patches sells well adjustable waist sells well um, yeah it's just a cargo really nice cargo shorts by a great brand and brand new right polo jeans company whole jeans company does well all right so next item i'm going to share with you that i sold is this peter millar now this is a great brand golf in particular it's 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 a golf brand for the most part as far as i know but yeah this particular one is mint condition um someone made an offer for 40 i counted with 44 they bought it so I did free shipping. I paid uh, less than four for this. No more than four did I pay for this shirt, but really nice polo Peter Millar shirt. Um, yeah, really, really nice. I like the color personally. Um, but yeah, 44 bucks, 3.99 spent. Great score, all right? And I think we're coming on to the last here or second to last item. This is a Moda International. No, I've never picked up this brand before, but it is a denim dress and denim sells. So I paid $3.50 for this dress. It was a uh, half half off at the thrift store. It was originally $6.99, but I got it for $3.50 and I figure it's denim. Somebody's going to buy it. It's more like a summer style. And someone recently sent me an offer for 20. I countered with 25. They bought it plus 6.99 shipping. Um, I've seen this brand before, but I've never really picked it up. It's M O D A I N T L Moda International. Um, it's kind of like an open back there. Yeah, so it's denim, right? It's sold. So I definitely made some money there. And I think last but not least is this amazing score. So I picked this up recently, if I remember. Yep, April 6, 2019, it was listed. So it's a Tommy Bahama. It says Tommy Bahama 2011 Grapefruit League Spring Train Embroidered. Now, I checked that up, which is what you want to check when you see stuff on Tommy Bahama's shirt. And this stuff was going for 79 and all that. Of course, I'm ambitious because this size was huge. This was a 2XL. So I put $89.99 plus $8.99 shipping. And like I said, I listed it April 6th. And it sold today, which is April 13th, for $89.99 plus $8.99 shipping. So that was an amazing. I paid less than $4 for this shirt. So Tommy Bahama for me, I, I don't pick up really basic ones anymore, except if it's mint. There's just too much of them. I find I hold on to them too long, except if it's a, you know, like a really unique design, I'll buy it. But some basic ones I don't, but I always check the back of them to see if there's any print. Those ones sells best, I find. This one, you know, I thought initially when I saw it and it says 2011, I figure... Uh, it's not going to go for that much because it's an old, whatever it was, it's, you know, since back in 2011, but lo and behold, it's going for good money. So you definitely want to check that up. Tommy Bahama Grapefruit League. 
I don't know what it is. It uh, Actually, it's baseball, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't even realize that. Look, you have the baseball teams on there. I didn't even see that. Yankees, Nationals, Astros. Pretty cool. Now I see why it's going for a lot of money. Okay. So, yeah, guys, I sold this for $8.99 plus $8.99 shipping. Less than 4 bucks spent. I made some good money there. Again, this was 10 items I sold, the most recent 10 items I sold within the last three days. Um, but, yeah, guys, so there you go. Um, subscribe if you haven't yet, if you're liking the videos. If you like this particular video, give me a thumbs up so I'll know. Leave a comment in the bottom, maybe something you might have found that you probably learned from this channel. Let me know that I'm helping somebody out. But yeah, guys, um, have a good day and be kind out there.